What's going on, everybody out there in the Amazon advertising ecosystem? Very special episode because we have bum, ba, da, bum, 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 Steven on the show. Steven, what is up with you? I don't think it's that special that I'm on the show. I mean, I mean, like I I don't know. I feel like I work with you, so it's not I'm not like any special guest like uh like you're on the show a lot. Friend Kevin yesterday. You're on the show a lot. <laughs> um, so I'm super stoked to get into what we are going to get into today. Uh, but first, I just wanted to give a quick recap for anyone that is new watching. Uh, we are adbadger.com. Uh, we optimize hundreds of thousands of clicks on Amazon advertising uh, every single week. And what we wanted to do through this crazy time is just go live every single day and share all of our learnings, everything that we have uh, on top of our minds, things that we are seeing our customers successfully do so that we can share them with you uh, because weeks matter, days matter, hours matter. Uh, so we wanted to share information like how to manage your PPC during a crisis, how you should modify your account structure during this time, mindset stuff, which is very important. Uh, how we're optimizing bids now. Uh, so, Stephen, we have a special episode today, which is evaluating stats. And this is one of the most popular topics that we ever talk about, which is managing stats. Um, when it comes to, but even before we go into a look at the data on how Amazon advertising stats have changed over the last few weeks. I want to just check in with you and, you know, how do you generally think about stats? Like when you're optimizing campaigns, how does the knowledge of like the averages play into how you think about Amazon PPC? Uh, it's pretty much just like a benchmark um, just to kind of, I think in general having, I mean, one of our most popular um, blog posts is um, the Amazon advertising stats post. And one of the biggest questions that gets asked on Google that you know we end up like ranking number one for is people ask, what's the average conversion rate on Amazon or, or for Amazon PPC? And when people Google that, <clears throat> we're pretty much, uh, I think almost always number one. Um, and so, I mean, so it's, people want to know because they wanna know if what they're you know, what they're saying on their end is, you know, average, above average. Um, Cause if, if you find out that like, and according to this, to our old stats post, the average conversion rate um, is about nine and a half percent. Then you kind of know if you've got a, a conversion rate of, you know, one or 2%, uh, you know, that obviously is going to tell you quite a bit that uh, you've got some room for improvement. Um, but it can also tell you more about your niche than, um, than, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, we've we've talked stats episodes before. I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff we, we can get in, uh, like a lot of things that basically it's like reading the tea leaves for me, um, looking at CPCs, conversion rates, click through rates. Um, but yeah, it was really interesting just looking at the uh, the latest data, how it's been affected during a you know stay at home sh or shelter in place orders mm -hmm. and uh, just the whole crazy COVID season. Yeah. Before we get into that, check this out. Okay, Google. What's the average CTR on Amazon? 0.36%. According to Ad Badger, what's a good center to have on Amazon? Got it. Let's go. Also, I changed my Google Assistant to an Australian woman. That's smart. There you go. Uh, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and we are going to bring this in check out these features. We pull out all the stops for you. We've got this format. We've got that format. And of course, we've got this format. Whoa. I am sharing my screen. Uh, so if you don't know, we have a blog and you can actually, what we're going to do is we're going to review our stats post. Badger SEO game going strong. You right, Zishan. You uh -huh. right. Uh, I am going to go ahead and just drop a link, adbadger.com slash blog. That is where you can get all of our podcast posts and our standard blogs. 
Uh, Stephen, we do a lot with every topic. We record the podcast and we write a long form post. Uh, what we're going to be reviewing today is just sort of walking through our stats, post, make it nice and big so people can see it. Uh, and you can follow along too if you go to adbadger.com slash blog. It is uh, the first post. It's very easy to find. Um, so, Stephen, how do you want to walk through uh, some of this? You want to jump right into the individual metrics? Yeah, let's just jump. Let's just jump into cost per click, um, and we'll just we'll just fire through these and just kind of let people know like what we've seen. Um, the, I mean, first one, cost per click. You know, it, it is kind of weird. So when we when we come down to conversion rates later, I guess sneak preview. Um, we basically noticed that the conversion rates were were near holiday seasonality type conversion rates during this time because I mean everybody is shopping online because they can't leave the house. Um, but what's weird is that normally during the seasons, uh, you expect cost per click to go up like in December and around Black Friday because, um, you know, the competition is being more aggressive with their campaigns. We actually saw that we saw that the opposite happened here with the, with the cost per click. Um, CPCs actually dropped from their average of like 90 cents to a dollar down to like 76 cents. And uh, I think, uh, can you scroll down a little bit more, Mike, so I can mm -hmm. see the chart there? Sure. Yeah, right Look towards that, the end of that month just like toppled off like below 70, 70 cents. Um, so yeah, I mean, Mike, what, what, what do you make of that? Like what, what is the, uh, the, o not the omen, but like, you know, what, what does that mean? Yes. You know what? I was just on a, so the way that I interpret this is a couple different things going on uh, because uh, what we'll see in a second is basically, I always say this, I always say, that your your total CPC that you will end up paying is a combination of factors, and what you actually bid is one of them. Meaning, if you have a stronger click through rate, if you have a stronger conversion rate, you will generally see almost like a slight discount on your ads because Amazon likes your ad and wants to serve it more. So they give you a sort of a quality score discount if anyone's familiar with Google ads or like uh, an engagement level discount uh, from Facebook ads. So same thing sort of happens on Amazon. So when I look at this, I see two things happening. One, because I already know that other metrics moved in the right direction. So conversion rate did go up and click through rate went up. What we are seeing here is that combination of other metrics influencing CPC but we're also seeing advertisers bowing out of the auction because for whatever reason, they needed to scale back, they needed to pause, they needed to do something. Uh, so they turned off their campaigns and that made it cheaper for everybody else. Yeah, um, that was the biggest thing. And so, uh, I mean, one of the, when we were just kicking off these, these uh, you know, this weird season and uh, getting like, um, um, yeah, when we first heard Amazon was delaying shipments, orders, and people's mm -hmm. conversion rates plummeted. Uh, I mean, one of the first things that we did for, for our client accounts is we, uh, we paused all their campaigns and rather than just like stopping their campaigns indefinitely, we duplicated them and we ran duplicates of their original campaigns with the same, um, keywords, ad groups, everything. Uh, we just cut the bids in half. And so we were just mm -hmm. able to kind of do that in, uh, in a fast, quick action. Um, so that Sunday. Uh, that's actually kind of where we saw a big spike. Uh, you'll hear later on the the uh, the podcast episode if you listen to the whole thing. Um, but we saw one day where conversion rates just plummeted on like the, mm -hmm. I think it was like the 15th or something like that. Let's and, jump into uh, it. Yeah, let's jump into conversion rates. Uh, so if we scroll down, there was one day, yeah, like right around the, I forget, I think around like the 15th or no, the 22nd. Yeah, that's when it was. It was a conversion rates going up, 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 and then they just plummeted one day because Amazon started delaying shipment time. Uh, and so we actually go back up to like the 23rd. Is that when CPCs dropped off? Yeah, quite a bit. Look at that. Right around the 23rd, I mean, CPCs kind of spiked for a day, and then they just plummeted through the rest of the month because of those shipping delays. Um, but yeah, I mean, what we, what we were able to do is actually get top of search clicks um, for like half the CPC, uh, the usual CPC. And um, because everybody had shipping delays, um, we were still getting conversions and, and so we were able to really lower a cost, but I mean, that's, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So conversion rate, you see, I mean, just look at the difference between the beginning of the month and the second half of the month. I mean, even we, even though it had this crazy dip this day, again, always let data guide the way that the sort of the ship date really freaked people out. 
Uh, however, always let your data inside your account lead the way. So anytime you hear news or anything like that, go into your account, check out what's actually happening in your account. Because uh, I mean, just look at the beginning of March, you know, this is a 10% conversion rate. Look at how much, uh, pretty much half the month was under a 10% conversion rate, and then half the month was over uh, a 10% conversion rate. So conversion rate, incredibly meaningful. You know, you go from a 9% to a 10% conversion rate. In this case, you went from a 9% conversion rate to an 11% conversion rate. That is quite meaningful. Uh, so yeah. that is really cool. Yeah, I mean, the, so the, yeah, the average on conversion rate on Amazon around 9.8-ish percent. So yeah, seeing jumps up to like the, you know, 12, nearly 12% range, that's um that's definitely holiday craze. Um, so yeah, I mean, there was that one day when, when it kind of plummeted and, and then it got back to normal once shoppers realized, oh, because Amazon put banners up that said like, hey, all shipments, were, or we're just prioritizing essential goods, so if non-essential will get delayed. And then people kind of went back to normal and continued buying because like they just like, they just needed it anyways. And so they were just still purchasing orders. So, Right. And if we take a look at the, the, the big metric everybody always talks about, we've got ACOS in March 2020. And pretty interesting what happened here. You know, ACOS is a um, metric that is emergent from all the other things going on. So you take a look at your CPCs, you take a look at your conversion rates, that eventually leads to your ACOS. And what we're looking at here is like we're riding the ski slope, ski, ski the slope, ski, the ski slope, and we're taking it down. ACOS in the first half of the month, you know, you see the average ACOS hanging around, you know, 28, maybe jumping up to 32% or so. Uh, and you see this day that it peaked, and then last half of over the last few days of March, epic uh, yeah. for a lot of sellers. A lot of people I talked to had record months in March. Record months. Yeah, and obviously it's we're uh, we've got like well, I guess today's the last day of April, so uh, we will be covering April's data as well. We're kind of just yep. getting to, to the months end to kind of cover it all, so we will be going over that. But uh, I mean, if you look at March 2019 data, it was pretty much um, ACOS was was around like 34 percent, like kind of went bounced back and forth between 30 and 34 percent throughout the month. Um, for, I mean, this, this year it's pretty much below 30%, um, for pretty much the whole month. Um, and really drops down to like the 24, 25% range, um, for the last few days. So yeah, quite a stellar, stellar month is so much of just, uh, traffic and, you know, retail and consumer goods moved to online. Big time. Uh, so with all that said, of course, click through rate was way up to, uh, really sharp uptick. I mean, these are these are big bumps in CTR. Uh, Stephen, we have a couple minutes left. Uh, if anyone wants to sort of read this, be sure to go to adbadger.com slash blog. Um, but for right now, uh, let's just sort of qualitatively summarize based off what we saw in March and what we've experienced so far in April. What are some of your like, do you have predictions right now? Do you have any thoughts about what we just saw? Um, I have a I have a pretty uh, pessimistic outlook <laughs> on the uh, <laughs> the total economy right now. I think we're uh, we're riding high on some optimism of reopening the states, but uh, I think in about three months, I think the optimism will dry up, and and uh, I think I think we've got at least three more years of you know people being all about buying and going crazy and getting stoked that things are going back to normal, but I don't think they're really going to go back to normal. Mm. Uh, I think we got a year, a year left of this uh, recovery phrase just from a macroeconomic view. I mean, you are one, you do follow big mac macroeconomic trends. You subscribe to a couple different newsletters. I know you're always talking about Amazon stock price. It's always good to sort of hear that. Uh, I'm curious if anyone is watching live, don't be shy. How do you expect future Amazon data to look? Uh, you know, have you been riding above average for the last few months? Are you riding below average for the last few months? I'm curious to uh, see. Uh, and, and if you're watching the replay too, be sure to drop a comment in because uh, that's always valuable for us to just to hear what the beat is because we have a lot of people in our software, a lot of uh, a lot of data there. But it's always curious to hear from 
a lot of different people and sort of what they think. Uh, in terms of what I think closing out this live, um, in terms of Amazon, we'll probably continue to stay strong uh, at the very least, meaning I think people are going to continue avoiding brick and mortar stores and buying Perfect. online when they you know can. Funny? Yeah. Is uh, my mom, um, she like texted me and my sisters and she was like, hey, like kids, if just so you know, like if, you, if you're trying to get something on Amazon and it's delayed by 30 days or whatever, you know, Walmart has like two day ship times. And I was like, I was like, wait, like, whoa, I totally forgot that there was any other option. Like you could go Target online, Walmart mm -hmm. online. Like Amazon is just like, you know, especially after this, no one's really thought, I don't, I mean, I don't think nobody really thought too much about Walmart or getting things online at Target. Like, and this whole thing has just like secured Amazon's um, position as like the world's superpower. So uh, um, yeah, I mean, like it's definitely a good industry to be in um, for selling and advertising and, you know, for, for our sake. So uh, yeah. Right. Uh, and that's it for today. We got a comment from Fred rolling through average, above average, but stock running low. Uh, scary to hear. Obviously, uh, we ha we published another episode previously about uh, how to avoid stockouts. If you go back a couple days, uh, you should be able to find it. You know, it, it's scary. Uh, Fred, I hope your supply chain uh, improves and you can get some inventory into those fulfillment centers. Um, but with all that, that is our episode today. Stephen, we've got a podcast to prepare and prep for, which uh, we're about to jump uh, into. Yes. All right, next podcast episode coming right now at you guys. Yeah. Well, have a good one, everybody. Uh, let us know if you have any questions about these stats, any other stats that you'd like to see as well. Uh, we'd always like to share that because we find things incredibly interesting. Uh, and I know that in version two, Stephen, we're going to do a lot more data analysis, trying to share things by industry, category, uh, just try to provide a deeper level of metrics so that we can better serve our community and they, and they can make better decisions on their PPC. Steven, I'm so stoked about V2 of the software. So stoked. Same here, man. It's going to be, be pretty dope. It's going to be big. Version two of our software, uh, which is really the version one. It's really like what we wanted this entire time. Yeah. Uh, it's really our the true thing that we've been after. That's come in later this year, probably three, four months away. Have a good one, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you inside the Badger Den.